What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Have you guys noticed this? I know you brothers have. Um, with the effeminization of the black male. Of course, you've been seeing it. You've been seeing it with basketball players. Uh, you know, wearing uh, skirts and then they try to say, well, you know, this is fashion. This is not, this is fashion, guys. So this is what's going on. And um, you've seen Russell Westbrook and sometimes LeBron, you know, these uh, you know, big masculine guys. And uh, now, uh, for whatever reason, they're, they're dressing like ladies. But you never see it with the white guys. You never see it with the white guys. You never see it in, in with the Hispanic men. You only really see it with black men. This is something that is very interesting to me. And I always wondered why. Now, if you look at hip hop, when it started, um, I wasn't there when it first started, but I was like close to the second generation. Um, you know, like the late 80s, early 90s. And you had guys like um, KRS One. Um, even guys who dance like Father MC, Heavy D, X Clan, okay, people like that. All these guys are men. Souls of Mischiefs in the '90s in Oakland, you know, Big Daddy Kane, Cool Modi. These are masculine and black men, and that's when hip hop was allowed to be represented in its own way. Now, even when you had the gang wars, we had songs, uh, you know, called "We All in the Same Gang." where guys came together, East Coast rappers came together, the West Coast rappers came together and created, you know, knowledge itself, public enemy, okay? We have brothers who were manly. Now, you get guys like Playboy Cardi. Now, something is wrong with this young brother. I don't know exactly what is going on with him. I don't know what is going on with his mind, but the brother has been going out here uh, doing some very suspect things that a lot of a lot of black men in hip hop, even 15 years ago, wouldn't rock with it. Some brothers still don't rock with it. He's been going out wearing thongs, painting his fingernails. I seen Dwayne Wade paint his fingernails. I already kind of thought Dwayne Wade was, you know, he was kind of lost in, in another way. I don't know what he's doing, but whatever. But brother Boosie, who I think usually is not that bright. I'm gonna be real. A lot of Boosie's takes is crazy. But man, he really gets it on the head here. I want to play what he had to say, then I'm going to come back. You saw the boy just put a thong on, bro. A Playboy card. He put a thong up his <laughs> You mean to tell me a man can put a thong up his and not think about being a female? You thought about being a woman. Did you see him with those, with those piercings and put a thong up his if you mean it, you mean to tell me a man can put a thong up his and still feel like a man. Man, if you wore a thong, you thought about getting inserted. Playboy called who stuck a thong up his see-through. A thong up your a string. And he out saying he didn't have no female intention. And made show you seen that he sagged it. He sagged it. So you can see the thong penetrating his like a toothpick in the mouth. Playboy, if you paint your nails red, white, all this stuff, if you paint your nails, you have you have thought about in your head of how you would look as a woman when you looked in that. You was you can't feel masculine painting your nails and your toes. You didn't thought about in your head how I would look as a woman. They thought about how would they, how they would look with crochet braids. They thought about how they would look with a BBL. You can't look in the mirror with nails and paints and I with all this shit and and, and not and feel masculine and feel like a man. Can you agree with that? You have to be thinking femaleish, right? Next is gonna be eyelashes on me. <laughs> they gonna have them meet <laughs> they gonna have brother Boosie brother Boosie lays it on thick 
What man would wear a thong, sag the thong, if he felt like he didn't want to be a woman? Now, let me kind of talk to you about this. This is important. Here's why all of this um, is going to be a little dangerous, right? Even for him. Want to know why it's going to be dangerous for him? Let me explain. The first thing they're going to say about a guy like this is, well, you see, he's been dressing like this, right? Now, some guys want to come out and possibly say, you know, Playboy Cardi, he assaulted me in that way. They'll be like, what? Yeah, he assaulted me in that way. And Playboy Cardi is going to be like, no, I'm not even um, living a bisexual lifestyle or a gay lifestyle. But what's going to happen? Where they're going to look at, they're going to look at your pictures. They're going to look at what you wear. And then people are going to be like, nope, nope. This is what this is what this guy's doing. This is probably what he's doing. Okay, he's doing this. He got to be guilty. You're out here assaulting men now. Then the reputation is going to grow for you being a Diddy kind of guy, all right? And they're not even looking at when you start dressing in that way, you're opening yourself up for a whole new can of worms that you're not really ready for. Look, look, look at Lizzo. I'm going to explain what I'm talking about. I've been covering celebrity for about four years and I've noticed something. Whatever the person leads with as a personality is what they get attacked with, okay? So Lizzo is the kind of person that's over-sexualized, like don't give a damn attitude. So what do they do? When they wanted to, 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 to do the lawsuit, they took some of her words, in particular the one that she had in Amsterdam, used it against her and said, hey, when we went to the strip club, she tried to force us to do such and such things. Lizzo said it's not true, but you put that out there about yourself. So you might be expressing yourself in a way that you think that it's feminine or, or whatever, but that's not how some people are gonna look at it. They are going to attack you based on your presentation, just so it makes them look good, just so it makes them look good. And then the question comes as to why, why would you open that door for yourself? And, and it happens. Brothers are out here opening those doors for themselves. And you're not really thinking about the repercussions of such actions. But I, I'm, I'm here to tell you that those things are happening. And this is another way that black men who are going in this way are going to be attacked. See, a lot of a lot of the people thinking that the, 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 the agenda to raise, um, you know, the women over the men, obviously, we see that's been happening the last 30, 40 years, okay? The black man has become more feminized as the man has been taken out of the home. We see that. But the play is going to be, well, you know what? Well, we're protected now because, hey, we're in this such a community, so we're protected. Well, Lizzo thought she was protected in the BBW female community, body shaming community. I'm going to tell you Tiffany Hinyard out of Dalton thinks that she's protected. You're protected until you're not protected anymore. And they're going to get everybody. This is why men got to understand what is at stake, brothers. Okay? This is why more than ever, you got to work with black men because... This, this, the, the, this fake protection that Playboy Cardi think he gonna get from doing whatever he gonna do, he'll find out, okay? Once they get through using him, they gonna spit him back out like they do everybody else. And this is why I'm urging black men right now, your sons, your nephews, your brothers, this is what they're up against. They're looking at somebody like Playboy Cardi, they think that's cool. In our day, we would clown somebody like that. Not to be... You know, uh, you know, not trying to diss somebody because of their sexuality, you know, but why do you have to wear a thong in public and then show the crack of your behind in the thong when you have older people outside, you have little kids outside, even women don't show their thong in public. Like this, like this is what I'm saying. Like it's even disrespecting women. What woman do you know goes outside showing her goddamn thong? You can never see that. This even over sexualizing it's a disrespect it's mocking women in a certain aspect what woman dresses like that they don't you see but they getting attention from the wrong people they're going to end up getting hit with the lawsuits they're going to end up being hit hit with, 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 with weirdo behavior and then boom it's all going to come down diddy coming down all these guys 
And this is what is going to continue to happen in the future. It's going to get worse. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you do. Turn the bell. We're out.